Today, we are going to make tiny foods for a tiny dog. All right, I'm scrolling through Instagram like I do, checking out dogs, and I run across this dog that is so tiny. I'm like, man, that dog is tiny. Dig in a little bit more. The dog's name is Tiny Diamond. As it turns out, Tiny Diamond's family is actually John, who founded the rescue group, I Pity the Bull. The good news is he was on board right away, so he agreed, and I knew I had to come up with an awesome idea. I don't think building a giant dog pit or surprising Tiny Diamond with 100 giant tennis balls <laughs> would really be that exciting to her. So I did some research on the internet and then it just hit me. Let's make everything tiny. What if I shrunk down the dog bakery and the kitchen and the food and made it all tiny diamond size? Oh, and let me tell you her actual story because being tiny isn't what makes her special. It's the fact that she's already been through so much in her little life. That tiny diamond story broke my little heart because she wasn't even a week or so old and someone just dumped her, turned her in, didn't want her. Now thank goodness I stand with my pack, stepped up, and they called John with I Pity the Bull right away and he said, you know what, we'll help, we'll save her. Love comes in all sizes and shapes. I think if we can show Tiny Diamond in our own tiny way that she is love, this will be the biggest video we've ever done. Well, tiniest, biggest video we've ever done. I am an actual pet chef. I own the business called The Dog Bakery and I build bakeries for dogs. So I wanted to make sure every little detail went into getting this bakery just right. Check this out. Wow, now that took hours of work. We hand drew all of the bricks. I mean, making a tiny kitchen is almost just as much work as building a real size bakery for dogs. All right, we've got our rolling pin and check this out. I printed off a little picture of my dog Flip. Let's get the Dog Bakery logo on there. Now we're the real deal. Oh, and I gotta write something down for you here real quick. Please make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Tell you that much. Ooh, ah. Oh, look at that. It is coming together. All right, let's decorate some donuts. Making doggy donuts in the mini version takes time and patience and love. Okay, now the stuff that looks like vanilla is actually yogurt, so it's safe for dogs. And this chocolate here is actually not chocolate at all, it's carob. And carob is safe for dogs because it doesn't have theobromine in it like chocolate does which is really dangerous for dogs. So these will be carob and yogurt topped donuts. I don't know about you, but I actually like a donut that has a good amount of toppings on it. And in my book, I don't think any donut is complete without sprinkles. I don't know how I'm gonna put these sprinkles on here. They're so small. Yes, lots of sprinkles. Wow, look at that. That looks so cool, check that out. Last one. This is so much fun. Look at the carob one there. Oh, and this couldn't have been better timing because Tiny Diamond is showing up right now. Breakfast to serve. Breakfast was a success, but lunch is even gonna be better because we're making burgers and french fries. Here's something cool. Did you know that I actually make donuts at my store that you can order online? I ship them across the nation and look at these. 
They aren't as many as the mini ones we made. But wow, dogs love them. They come with a bunch of donuts. We even have a pink one there with sprinkles. They're all dog friendly. So you can order those at thedogbakery.com. Go there right now. I'll also put the link down in the description. Check it out. And go sign your dog up for our birthday club. It's free and when it's your dog's birthday, I'll send you discounts and all kinds of other cool stuff for your dog. So go sign up in the description below right now. No doubt burgers are delicious, but I'm also kind of a pasta guy. Like I love spaghetti. So that's what we're gonna make for dinner. Stick around though, because dessert is gonna be awesome. The cake, puppuccino, it's gonna be great. Let's make some pasta. You know what, also, I think I'll reference my cookbook here real quick, just to make sure that my Italian recipe is correct. Oh, guys, I love pasta so much. Look at this. Perfect. Drain those noodles, let them cool. Dessert time, and this is what I'm best at. We're gonna make a doggy cake and a really small doggy puppuccino. I can't wait to see what Tiny Diamond thinks of these. And I can't wait to see what Kobe thinks. He's blind, it's gonna be super small, so it'll be interesting to see if his super sniffer can find these fake treats. here at the bakery. This one's just for her. Okay, enjoy your cake.
cut you a slice there. That should help. Okay, guess what time it is? Puppuccino time. She only wants it served in a bug. Like a traditional puppuccino. Girl, you gotta slow down, you're gonna get too big. What happens if you get to four pounds? <laughs> That'd be crazy. Oh, now you're going for it. Okay. <laughs> You've now lost all sensibility. So I got Kobe right here. Kobe! Kobe is just a few months older than Tiny Diamond. So let's see what a puppy that should be about the same size looks like in a tiny food set. <laughs> He's about the same age, but a much bigger puppy. Let's see what happens. I don't know if he'll eat anything because <laughs> He's a little worried right now. Okay, there you go. All right, here. Yeah, put that on the table. Thanks, Blake. Okay. All right. There you go, bud. There's a donut for you. No, oh, don't eat the table. <laughs> Kobe's blind. He can't see, so he's got to find it with his nose. This is the smallest treat he's ever had. This is the smallest treat he's ever had for sure. I got an idea. Here you go. Yeah, here, why don't I just bring the whole table to you? The thing is, Kobe's not really hungry right now because he's got a heart condition. He was turned in, he's blind, he's got a heart condition, but you all helped us raise the money for that, and so we're gonna get him the heart surgery he needs coming up soon. Okay, buddy, you're a good boy. And also, he got to meet Tiny Diamond, so I think the one thing he did get out of today is a brand new friend. About the same age, drastically different in size. If you wanna see him meeting Tiny Diamond for the first time ever, go watch that video on Paul Wonder right now. It's our new channel for our dogs. Go check it out. I'll link it right in the description below. All right, since this is a tiny video, I have a very special guest here. This is Tater. Now, Tater is with I Pity the Bull. They're an awesome rescue group and they help a lot of dogs. Tater needs to be bottle fed right now. Tater is so young, his eyes aren't even open. He's only three weeks old and weighs eight ounces. Now. Tater's not old enough to eat food yet, but we are gonna bottle feed him here because this is a video about awesome tiny dogs. All right, oh, yep, he's sucking on my finger. He is hungry. All right, let's get the bottle and have mama feed you. Hey, check out Tiny Diamond in her little tracksuit. Okay, I gotta tell you something. You gotta go follow I Pity the Bull. I'll put their Instagram right here. Also put it down in the description. Go follow them because they help so many dogs, pit bulls, dogs like Tiny Diamond right here. And Tater is gonna be available for adoption. Now, not right away, so make sure you're following them so that way as soon as Taylor is available for adoption, you're the first to know and you can put an application. Go follow them right now. If you haven't subscribed, come on. What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. And quick, go watch this video right here. Or Tiny Diamond says, go watch this video right here. <laughs>